Hello and welcome to Lurgan Junior High. This is our BBC School Report. Martin Luther King had a really big dream. What sort of dreams do you have? Well, Tim and I actually have a similar dream. Our dream is that people, not only in America, but throughout the world, would practice religious tolerance. So um, having respect for an individual based on their character, not actually what they believe. So it doesn't matter whether you're Muslim or a Christian or atheist or Buddhist. We're all a part of this world, and we need to recognize that segregation is poisonous. And I think that takes a, a lot of work on the part of the individuals in particular. Um, we need to s suspend our presuppositions about one another and, and really enter into dialogue and, and get to know one another. I think that's where um, religious tolerance really starts because when you put a face and a name to that system and to that belief, um, you start to realize that they're not too different from ourselves. Um, and for me, I would have to say mainly just that people begin to recognize that their choices have consequences and affect other people. Um, for example, Carlisle, Pennsylvania is actually very well known for human trafficking. Um, and when people don't take action, that's when problems persist. So inaction is in fact a choice, and it's an action that perpetuate, perpetuates a problem. What elements from Martin Luther King's speech inspired you? That's a great question. Actually, it's the line that everyone does know from his speech, the I have a dream. Um, the repetition of that line is actually what makes it so powerful and is used continually throughout um, the speech and it all comes back to that singular simple concept and that is the reason I really like his speech. Mm -hmm. I really like the one line about um, my children shall not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. Uh, that line really sticks out to me and I really enjoy hearing him say that because I think it's important to remember that we're all made up of different parts and our identity is comprised of different parts and so it's important to look past people's skin color, people's beliefs, kind of the external factors and look more towards, okay, what are they about, who, who are they becoming, what do they want to do in life because I think um, that's just how we, that we build relationships that way. What hopes do you have for your country to do with civil rights, even though a lot of progress has been made since the 1960s? Um, I think a lot of things still remain like an issue. Um, segregation, although it's not like prevalent, there's still kind of connotations and stereotypes about people, um, which I think we really need to move past, which I think to start off, we need to recognize that they're still there. So um, awareness is really where we need to start just to move forward, um, to really make things more Prominent. What question do you want me to ask you about Martin Luther King? Okay. A question that we would like you to ask is what actually makes him an inspiring figure in the way that he led people? That's a good question. Thanks. I think mm -hmm. we would answer that saying his non his nonviolence approach to, to justice and to change, um, his kind of peaceful protest was legendary and, and it, it was really successful and made a lot of impact on America, and I think we can still learn from that today. Um, working with the system gets you a lot further than fighting up against it. Thank you. So we hear you're going to see Selma in the movie theaters. What are you expecting from the movie? Uh, I'm expecting it to be a good movie because I don't know much about it, so it'll be quite interesting to find out more. Well, I know a bit about it, but it's going to be good to actually watch the film because it'll be more in detail, so it'll be good to watch. Yeah, I'm looking forward because I haven't seen it and I don't know much about the like subject and what it's about, so I'm looking forward to like knowing more about it and helping maybe the film to help us understand it a little bit better. Are you excited to see the movie? Yeah, I am because it's going to be quite interesting since I don't know much about it. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be very intellectual, but I think it'll make it easier for us to actually understand. Yeah, I think it'll be like quite intense, but like I think it will benefit us and maybe make us look differently at people of colour and like having rights. So. Did you have any prior knowledge of Martin Luther King or Martin Luther King Day? Uh, well, not much. You only learnt about it in LLW on Monday, but... I knew a bit about it. Well, I learned a bit about it last year and stuff, and I know that after he was assassinated that um, his civil rights movement actually came together, and in the end, the racial aspects have been okay ever since, really. 
Yeah, we um, talked about it in LW on Monday and Mr. Black kind of showed us like a film and like what it's really about and then we went off and looked at like some of in groups and looked at like some of his poems and like his goals and aims and stuff. What will you be doing when you go to St Mary's and are you excited? Um, yeah, we're making a short film um, so yeah, I'm quite excited to like know how to make films and learn about more of it. Yeah, I'm like really excited because obviously we're going to go meet new people and um, we all kind of know about each other but it's going to be different to see how they work and what drama wise they do and it'll be good to actually use the studio because obviously we don't get to use it much. I'm really into like drama and I like being in front of the camera so I'm kind of looking forward to again meet new friends and mix with new people and just like kind of know more about it like it will again help us after we've seen the movie we'll be able to understand it and put like contribute more into the short film.